Welcome to the first episode of Aubrey's Absurdities, a combo showcase lecture series. This episode presumes you have fundamental knowledge of the orange booster, specifically pawns. Although the flow's fundamental episode for the orange booster will not be released at the time that this episode is released, if you are watching this in the future, feel free to reference that. Otherwise, feel free to reference the bunny bits available on the Killer Bunnies website. This combo features Ice 9, and random paintball assaults. Before we can discuss the combo, we need to discuss an important distinction. The bunny on the left is what we call a half-color bunny. It is half red, half violet. The bunny on the right that has just been affected by random paintball assault, where the results were violet and red tied for the highest, is considered a multicolored bunny. That is, it is fully red and fully violet. The bunny on the left only receives partial red benefits, that is, it only receives one cabbage, one water, as opposed to the full three cabbage, three water that we would expect from a red congenial bunny. The bunny on the right receives the full red benefits, that is, he receives three cabbage, three water from the red effect. Now let's consider that interaction with pawns. What we have here is after playing ice 9, every result of the die was 9. So every result tied. The pawn is now all 8 of the colors. This is a multicolor situation, so the pawn will receive the full benefits of all 8 colored pawns. In my group, we tend to call this the Omega Pawn. Let's go right into some strengths of it. Firstly, the Omega Pawn allows rerolls of all 8 of the colored dice. Normally, a pawn would only get to reroll one colored die, so naturally, this pawn is, in some sense, eight times stronger than that. In a similar manner, this pawn lets you replay all eights of the colored P cards. A blue pawn could only replay blue P cards. This pawn can replay eight different colors. And of course, there is flexibility with completing colored triplets. There are some other card synergies that are quite useful as well, including ultimate pawn power, giving you the flexibility to discard cards from your hand of several different colors, or pawn cloning to create a second Omega Pawn, where things get extremely ridiculous. Before everyone in the community screams overpowered, Jeff please nerf this, let's go into some of the weaknesses. Firstly, this pawn is extremely easy to steal. I'm going to go into a few different cards that can steal it, including some that do so guaranteed. And secondly, Ice 9, strictly speaking, has much more potential than this. Typical Ice 9 combos include Super Supply Surprise and Incredibly Magic Fountain, both of which, in the short term, are much stronger than this. Perhaps with this combo, you could gain some long-term benefits if it is not stolen, and that is a big if, considering some of the cards we have here. Pilfer the Pawn, as the whatever the highest roll is, the Omega Pawn will be that color, and is that color. So therefore, Pilfer the Pawn guaranteed steals the Omega Pawn, regardless of the result. Bunny Shop Quartet, similarly, if any of those dice rolls a 4, the Omega Pawn will be stolen. And of course, Red Lights District. The Omega Pawn is by definition a red pawn, so therefore the player may purchase the Omega Pawn for $5, which is a very good price for the Omega Pawn. This has been episode 1 of Obvious Absurdities, featuring the combo between Ice 9, Random Paintball Assault, and a pawn. And as always, Jeff Bless.